Ben, just, so just the one to move up, well right. tipped this morning. Brett Let's was pretty keen, it's drawn five. Three, Has drifted though, 650 out to 850. And away they go now. And War God was a touch slow from the inside. Jazari dropped back with Shindamani. Pinzu is going to find itself fourth from last with Dark Royalty getting back. And Pike straight on the lead here. Looking for another winner today. Leading the way with See Me Sizzle. Leads by three quarters to My Greek Boy. Jagande got caught wide pressing forward. Then Senso, who's on the inside of Ripper Rio Bass straight three wide. War God the inside of Push and Shapes. Travelling very strongly there for Azza Party from Dark Royalty out three wide. Pinzu's outside Jazari and two away last is Shitamani. See me Sizzles controlling the affair. Leads three quarters, my Greek boy. Out wide at Jagonde doing it really tough. And then came Senso on the inside from Ripper Rio. War got on the fence from Push and Shapes, who's back in the centre. Three wide is Dark Royalty. The inside is War God. Tinder two to Pinzu, ridden very quietly back third last on the outside of the chestnut, Jazari. And two lengths away last of all is Shitamani. Coming up to the turn, see me Sizzle, nursed by Pike. Leads a half to my Greek boy, Gigante out wider. Senso the inside. Ripper Rio the middle. Bass straight pulling out wide with push and shapes about to let go. Dark Royalty deeper. War God badly held up. Pinzu's got a wall in front of it. See me sizzle in front. My Greek boy is laying it down. Then Senso on the outside. Ripper Rio Gigante and push and shapes down the outside. Pinzu's not going to get clear in time. My Greek boy hit the front, but War God's flashing through. Push and shapes out wide. My Greek boy just in front and beat push and shapes. War God and Ripper Rio. Then Bass straight Senso, weakening See Me Sizzle from Shitamani. Pinzu never got into play. Gigante did it far too tough. Well back in the field was Dark Royalty, and it was one of the last ones home. Jazari a bit closer up. My Greek boy outside the leader, powering to the front. Push and shapes, flashes late, just misses. War God and Ripper Rio close up. So My Greek boy for Peter Hall has uh, done the job here fighting on strongly just getting in, pushing shapes needed a, about another 10 metres to haul it in War God looking the winner there about 100 out as it got the split and Ripper Rio was just battling away in honest fashion, Sensei probably needed the hit out and then we had Bass straight in the weakening Simi Sizzle Pinzu was angling for runs from the corner there was a wall in front, got held up and just looking at the uh, head on here and uh, just really didn't get a chance to wind up in time and was, oh yeah, got squeezed out a hundred ago, got squeezed out before that. Absolute horror story there if you're on Pinzu, the uh, well-backed $3.40 favourite. Actually got into 2 dollars at one stage, back out to three forty. My Greek boy was very solid in the market all the way, six fifty out to $8. We're about to go to Brittany Taylor very shortly after the running of race number eight and a top performance there by my great boy so the uh, horse is coming back here after the running of race number eight and uh, we'll go to Brittany in uh, just a moment. I'm now with Peter Hall and Hawley, that was a really nice performance from a wide gate where you were able to land in a really nice position. Yeah, look, he likes to um, race forward, Brittany, so um, he was just wrapped when he landed there easy and, and then we'll just be able to sit off um, season me sizzle. Tell me about the run, the way he finished off was really nice. Yeah, no, look, he's been in great form. He put in one body run last start, so um, good to see him back. I can't believe um, Wolfie wanted to go to the footy early. What, he's not here still? No, he's gone to watch the Dockers. I said, what about my Greek boy in the last, buddy? You're he, leaving us. He obviously didn't think he was a, a big enough chance, or maybe he's cheering on from the footy. I'm oh, sure he is. I'm sure he's having a nice uh, cold, frosty beverage and uh, cheered him home for sure. Well deserved. Congratulations on the win. Thanks a lot, Brittany. Yeah, one under Peter Hall there. Brett Wolf Jr. is joining us here on uh, TAB Radio. My Greek boy in pushing shapes back in second, Wargord third. But that was a good performance by my Greek boy. Yeah, the weight drop helped today. Um, last week, we don't know what happened, but just that's racing. Now, why is the old man? Obviously, he loves the Dockers, and he's there um, cheering them home against the Saints. But, geez, I could imagine him in that derby club giving it a big cheer. 
Yeah, I was just I guess he was that confident he thought he could go the footy. So oh, yeah. he's done a good job, this fella. Yeah, he's just honest as they come. He keeps trying, just keeps finding the line each time. Effort. And what do you think the old man will do with him now? I'll oh, just keep him going, I suppose. Yeah. And um, uh, was he expecting it today? He thought he wouldn't be far away, you know, yeah. sort of. He was hoping more than anything, I think, so. He's had a pretty good time of it anyway over the last month or so. Thanks yeah. for that, Brett. No worries. Thanks, mate. There we go. Brett Wolf Jr. joining us there after the success of my Greek boy Push and Shapes wasn't far off them and War God back in third. Ripper Rio was officially fourth. Six, four, three and eight. Thanks for your company today. Hopefully you're back plenty of winners. Uh, Brittany, Mark and I will be back on Wednesday afternoon. Don't forget the Sunday aftermath tomorrow morning from six o'clock with Timmy and also Alex. I think Wes Cameron will be joining the team as well. And I'll be back on the Sports Daily. Six o'clock, Monday morning, Tab Radio. Um, have a wonderful night. We'll catch up with you shortly.